a cluster. Yeah. And then, okay. uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, do you want to share a screen for today's agenda? For, uh, okay. Yeah. I uh, see yeah. you add two items to the agenda. The first item. Uh, yeah, I got the answer from the uh, from that uh, issue. So I should try the new proxy, the commander proxy. Uh, uh, do do you have uh do you already use the commander search now? Uh yeah, I use the search. The search can give me the pod and our. Our, our CRD we call Contour Job that that works totally fine. Um, but the search, um, that aggregate API server does not uh give the log. So when I try to get the pod log, I get some error message. I describe in that ticket, so in that issue, and then um, they uh someone suggests me to use this new um global uh it's more like a proxy. Yes, it's a uh, uh, proxy. I, actually, I I tried this uh, today, mm -hmm. and I I found I found something wrong in the document. Uh, in the at the step step three, uh, mm -hmm. before before you create the resource registry, you you. You should to set the group config to uh, command IP server. server. No, not this not config. Proxy. Okay, I see. I got it. Yeah. I think you can do the step three first and then and try the step one and two. Oh, I, I didn't go through the details yet. Um, it is it is still command search, right? Or or is a different um server like a proxy server? Uh, sorry. Um, so uh, for example, so if I create this uh resource registry, um, will it also goes through the command search, or um, I have to deploy another uh, like proxy server? No, no, no. It, it's the uh, uh, first you you should uh, create the, the the YAML against the, the command API server. Uh, uh yes, yeah, but, and, uh, but this resource registry is very similar. Like, um, like in the command search document, right? It's also a resource. Yeah, it's, it's the same. It's the same uh, oh. object. I think okay. it's the. Uh, It's the same thing with this. Yeah. So then what's the so uh if I create uh this research registry, I just want to understand how this one can give me the pod log and the other one cannot give me the pod log. Mm. But but I can try, but I'm I because I didn't go through all these details, I just asked like if you know the answer now, or if not, we can catch up offline. I, I can mm. definitely try it out. Yeah. Uh I can explain it a little bit. Uh mm -hmm. after you create the resource registry mm -hmm. and the command search will uh catch the the for it for example you want you want to come out a search to catch the post um mm -hmm. after you create the resource registry come out a search will cache all the posts to to the memory mm -hmm. um, and after that if you want to uh, for example if you want to uh query the the post sub resource log and uh, the command search will uh will uh proxy the request to memory cluster add the logs and uh, return to the client 
Mm. Okay, I see. Um. Okay. Yeah. The the uh, the the reason why Kamala search needs uh, uh needs the results registry is because uh, Kamala uh purpose uh, Kamala search need to know where to find the the post. Mm. Okay, uh, I think the the document is a uh, is a simple. The, the the only thing you you need to uh I need, the only thing you need to uh before create the result uh result registry uh you you should uh, create the, the YAML against the command API server, not the command uh, proxy. proxy. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, I I will try try it out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can we go to the next uh, item? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the next item is not a blocker for us. Um, but mm -hmm. I I do want to uh involve this uh like uh start this discussion um because currently uh when uh Kamada connect to the managed cluster, uh, it always using the, it's, it's more like create a service account and bind it to a cluster role. It's more like admin cluster role. And then uh, using the secret of that service account as the GWG token, and then they can communicate with the uh, managed cluster. Um, but um, we think it may be cause potential security issue because uh, if those token is somehow leaked by any reason then um then we need to handle those 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 situation so currently uh we have to delete those uh cluster binding and create a new service account um bind to uh the admin cluster and then generate the new token so uh we think it's still manageable but um with within uh bloomberg uh, what we usually do is like uh, we always have a short lived token. So this and then a user usually exchange that short lived token with some uh, identity uh, server. And then uh, we also enable the authentication webhook. So inside that authentication webhook, we will verify that short lived token. And this is our authentication process. Um, we're just curious, like if Kamada can support um, such behavior. Uh, for example, uh, if we can uh, if we can customize the round tripper, like in the mm -hmm. cube, cube client. So in the cube client, uh, we can pass in the rest the rest config. So inside the rest config, there is the there is a round tripper wrap. So if we can allow user to somehow customize that round tripper wrap, wrapper yeah. mm -hmm. then um like it's then it depends on 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 client side like it's on depends in the user like how they want to verify the, uh, how how they want to um do the authentication in their side right instead of using a static token instead of yeah using a service account gwg token mm -hmm. Uh, first of all, I think it's a uh, it's a one hundred percent reasonable uh, request. I think um for now for sure, yeah, Kamada uh, manage the the member cluster by uh, a token uh, generated uh, during the registry process. Uh, that's not good for because the uh, uh, that as you mentioned in the issue, the token might be uh, leaked, and uh, uh, this uh, I'm sure here is some something we uh, we can do. Mm. Um, but, uh, I'm not quite quite familiar with uh, on this area. Uh, so I can't uh, the share my uh, opinion on the the 
on the suggestion you provided in the issue. So uh, I think uh, I think we like to uh, send a more detailed proposal or something, and mm -hmm. uh, we can we can talk about it. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, this is also like our plan. So, oh, Clay, Clay is here. So, from our side, we want to like uh have some spike tickets maybe in Q two to start investigation on uh, that issue and also provide a proposal for the solution. Uh, hi, Clay. Um, does this sound good to yeah. you? Yeah, I that think sounds yeah. Good. great. Thank you. I think the you know you brought up one question, which is uh, the etcd connectivity here um, would be uh, per connection rather than per call, and the authentication therefore. So I think um, while doing this work, we'll probably want to run a test where that's um, yeah yeah that token uh, yeah kind of uh, cancels out quicker, and that way we can just make sure that. Um, when the token expires, the connection either stays open or we can re-authenticate in some clean way. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, so in this meeting, we just want to start the discussion. And uh, um, after the KubeCon, uh, we may start working uh, on that and uh, maybe provide a community, a community and a, a proposal of that. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, maybe we can talk uh, talk about it at the at the KubeCon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, one thing I I just out of a curious um. How do you know the 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 the, the token is leaked or not? Uh, so it, there there are multiple way like you can leak the token. Sometimes mm -hmm. maybe. So I, I know um so uh let me think. So currently we don't print out anything, those tokens will not be leaked from the um oh, fr from the log. Uh the other thing is like uh when we deploy uh Kamada, uh we use like uh, you can think we use Helm or Terraform. So those tokens need to be encrypted in our deployment playbook. You can think it's a playbook. Uh, it, mm -hmm. It's more like Terraform or like uh, Helm uh, triggered by Jenkins. So um, so those, those secrets now, so because we have to put those authentication as a secret, right? And then those secrets need to be uh, encryption, encrypted mm -hmm. uh, in in the declar declarative way for deployment, so it's very possible if we do some mistake mistakes, then those token will be leaked in our deployment Jenkins log. It's very possible. Yeah. So that's that's yeah. Okay. Well, if it's not leaked, this would allow us to um, update tokens, right? Yeah, with the the round mm. tripper or. Oh no. Uh. Uh, do I misunderstand? Uh, no, no. I, I, mean... I think I may misunderstand, but would we be able to um, have the auth? Uh, I probably need to dig deeper. My apologies. But one hope would be that we could have a more dynamic token as well if we implement this round tripper process. Yeah. Uh, I, I think Hong Tai may, may, may uh, he, he wants to know in the current situation. Um, how could those uh how could this static token the service account token is leaked in our current setup so i think uh the token is protected very well currently but there may be some potential issue like we we leak that secret token somewhere in yeah. maybe in our deployment log or some other log so yeah 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 i get it so yes i think we need a way to uh refresh the the the, 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 the token sure. oh i see so uh that's another issue because Kamada provided two way to generate certificate right uh so one is like the one is like uh in the pre-install job 
uh, command a control point, generate the search certificate itself. Uh, but in our case, uh, we choose the customer mode. We 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 generate the the rules DA ourselves. We just give thirty years, like certificate. So. Oh, certificate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Here is a. Um, uh, the similar things we. We need to handle. Uh, yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah, it's more like uh, if you, you let people to use the customized uh, certificate and uh, like the search and private key, it may also uh, allow user to customize the way they... Oh no, yeah, this is for the target cluster. But anyway, but it's still better to let people customize their way to connect to the managed cluster. Or yes, like, as uh, yeah, customize yeah, the authentication process. Yeah. Uh, as far as I know, um, some users um, uh, tried to use the search manager mm -hmm. to to refresh the the certification, uh, the 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 searching. Yeah, I we we talked about it at the Slack, but we uh we need uh sure we we we, we need a document uh, uh for the practice. Mm, how could the manager handle the? It can only help you renew. Oh, you, you want to use the, the self sign, right? Uh, yes. The okay. manager can help to renew the the the, the search uh, at a uh, regular period, for example, three months. Mm. Oh, okay. But I need to think about that. So because it maybe cover uh, several parts, so maybe uh, from our side, we want to take some time to like uh, revisit this issue, like in Q2, and then, um, yeah, okay. time sure. to proposal to the community. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, that's all from our side, so, yeah. Okay, thank you. Hi, I see some new friends here. Uh, uh, Clay. Yeah, Clay. Uh, he's from our managed compute team. Yeah. Oh, he. Is. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Hello. Thank you. I appreciate listening in and learning more. And, and Eugene, he, he is also, he is a TL, t team lead for the managed compute team. And we also have Calvin, uh, he is also like in our uh, managed compute team. And Yao Ling, uh, he, uh, she is in the our Argo workflow team. Uh, they also maybe put uh, Kamada as a potential candidate uh, for for Argo, for the workflow. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 know, I know Yao Ling, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So seems we have uh, no other topic now. So if uh... oh, uh, so we still have several minutes. Uh, if uh, other people don't have question, I I have a uh, question for the uh, it's more like the design question. So um. I see um, you, you have a uh, separate uh, aggregated API server. So uh, why, uh, why do you uh, use a separate aggregated API server instead of use the, because in the API server itself, it has its own aggregated API, right? 
why why you have a separate aggregated API? Is there any design decision behind that or like? Uh, yeah, I think the the reason why we introduced the aggregated API, API server is because um, for Kubernetes, there's two ways to extend the Kubernetes, Kubernetes API. For, mm -hmm. uh, uh, most common ways is the CRD, yeah. and another way is the aggregated API server. Um, the two approaches uh, are quite different. Um, for the aggregated API server, it can extend the uh, API and uh, more powerful. Uh, it can extend the more powerful API. For for example, uh, Kamada, um, Kamada cluster API uh, extend by the uh, aggregated API server, um, um, we can um, we can extend the API with uh, for for example you you ever uh, you tried the proxy and uh, the search ability. These are all as tended by the class API. Oh, um, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think, uh, yeah, I agree on that part. Uh, but my question is like uh, the cube API, the API server itself. So API server itself, it contains several parts, right? So it, so the API server itself, it has a aggregated, self, aggregated API built in, in the API server itself as the top layer. And, and under that, there will be extension API and then that process the CRD and also the API. Uh, the question here is like why don't why not use the API server built inside the why not use the aggregated API server built inside the, the cube API server built in that image instead of use in, instead of creating a separate um like deployment called Kubernetes API server uh, aggregated API server. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, uh, as I see. Like it's uh, basically that that because we, uh, we are hesitant to, uh, to hack the Kube API server, and uh, you know it's might me uh, it's might um, needs a, a huge effort to maintain the Kube API server if we, uh. If, if if we embed the uh, aggregated API server to the Kube API server, you know. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, but but uh. So for example, if I have a uh. Let me think. Um. Uh, but but all the requests. Uh. So so for example, uh. The your your Kamada aggregated API server will only. Uh, is that like on top of the Kamada API server, like all the API requests will come to that layer first, and then, um, and then it will go to the different different thing. Like it it will go to the proxy, will go to the search, or go to the API server. Uh, do do know what I mean? It's like it, it is I... your API API aggregated API server is like the top layer when the request request coming. Yeah, yeah, yes. I we 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 think about it, but um, I think you uh, you you can take the aggregated API server on top of the Kube API server, uh, Kamala mm -hmm. API server, right? Yeah, and uh, mm, but sometimes the 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 request might be go through from uh, go 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 through aggregated API server. And then proxy to, for example, proxy to command API server, and then uh, the request will go back to aggregated API server. And so there's a. Um, oh, you uh, want to avoid that layer? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. I see. So so basically, uh, your aggregated API layer is more, uh, for the search and the proxy. Like to talk to them, to the managed cluster. 
or like to get the resource on the manager cluster. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't know, like, uh, it, I just try to understand um, uh, what's the, the, the reason behind this like design. So yeah, I, I think that makes sense if you want to avoid that that, that um that that layer between. Mm, yeah. Uh, actually, we uh be uh, I um when we are uh, started the Kamada project uh, about the three to uh, two or three years ago, we uh. We planned to have a Kamada API server itself, not just uh, reuse the Kube API server. But mm -hmm. uh, I think it's uh, we are not ready to do it uh, for now, for, because it's not the um, not the urgent thing for us. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. For for us, like I, I, we we may, uh, our use case is like we want to try out the search and the proxy. Okay. 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 Uh, I see. I'm. I'm here. I, I'm. I'm not sure if I pronounced the right. Yes, that's yeah. right. How are you doing? Yeah. Uh, good. Thank you. And uh, I, I see you. Oh. You are able to suspend work program. Yeah, I, yeah. I like the. Yeah, I, I can give ahead. you maybe a little bit of background. Um, so currently we're, excuse me, we're utilizing Cormada for workload migration from one cluster to another. You can think of it like a blue green cluster migration, and we do that mm -hmm. via um, um, propagation policies, and we basically register Cormada on our blue cl cluster. And then we create a propagation policy with placement of target and move workload from one cluster to another. Um, we also use the multi-cluster service um, to make sure that during the migration, both clusters are both consumers and providers. But my question is more around propagation during the migration. And I realize that this is probably not a typical use case um, for Carmada, but we found it to be uh, pretty good for us at least. Um, and as you can imagine, when we migrate workloads, um, we migrate workloads or namespaces one at a time. So there's a point in time where we might want to suspend or stop Karmata from actively trying to reconcile a particular resource. Or we might want to roll back and we want Karmata to stop reconciling things. And I'm wondering if there is interest from the community on adding an ability to suspend either a propagation policy or the work object to basically stop the Karmata controller manager from trying to reconcile the object to the target cluster. Mm, you are asking if the if it makes sense to uh, add the sus suspend the to property pro policy or the work API? Um, I'm, you know, I'll, I'll defer to you where you think is best. I think for us, we handle a complete namespace via a single propagation policy. So it's a lot easier to, for us to update a single propagation policy, but I realize that may not work across all of your use cases. Um, so it may be a better fit on the work maybe, um, but I'm open to either. Mm. Actually, we we uh, we uh, received some um, uh, feedback uh, about a one year ago, and people want to uh, introduce the uh, uh, suspend uh, uh, functionality to work uh, API. And uh, the reason for the, the use case is that they, they want to control uh, when and uh, when the uh, work will be uh, synced to mem uh, memory cluster. Uh, uh, the, 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 the use case is, uh, for example, 
uh, for the yeah, just like your 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 case, you you have a blue cluster or green cluster, and you want to the you want the uh, the resource uh, go to for example go to blue cluster first, and uh, then uh, you can control when to sync the uh, resource to green cluster. Uh, yeah, I I think it's uh, make totally. Uh, uh, sense to 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 do that for work, but I'm not I, I I'm I'm not sure how to do it in uh, propagation policy. Yeah, it it won't be hard for us to do it for work because we can query work by a propagation policy and just suspend all of them in a batch. So it's if if it makes sense to have it at work, I think um, I, I I won't be hesitated. To, to contributing that. Um, yeah, th thank you. Uh, uh, I, I think, I think can, can you have a, uh, can you open an issue to, uh, to describe your, your use case a little bit? I, uh, I, I can link uh, uh, the previous discussion uh, on about, uh, about this topic. So we can gather some feedback from the community. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I personally, I I really like this uh, uh, this idea. That's something I want to do uh, about uh, one year ago. I'll create that issue today and to cover our use case as much as possible. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I think we are going through all the topic now. Uh, okay, great to meet you guys. Okay, see you next time. I'll see you. Uh, Emery, are, are you going to the Kubka uh, next, next week? <laughs> no, not unfortunately, but may, maybe the next one. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.